this oh. is Xbox 360. Wow. It looks great. It built my childhood. Super nostalgic. But it has no games. But today, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be different. We're changing the gaming industry. Oh my. Goodbye, Xbox. I never liked you anyways. Why do I hear bus music? This is way better. Look at it. It looks more clean, and it has more buttons. Look at this Xbox controller. There are literally just four buttons there. That's cringe. At the end of this video, we're telling Microsoft to stop making those crap products. This project is called Checkbox. It's a version of Xbox, but it has games. And not just any games. Games running with zero bugs. Look at this sick gameplay. You can do it easy, easy, easy. No, don't get fast. Yeah, easy. You can do it. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy's little Timmy. And don't let his cute little character fool you. Like all of us, little Timmy has severe depression. That's why we included a microphone, a big, gigantic microphone. That's big. That's above average. Huge. And don't worry, your voice will not be recorded because we have policies. <laughs> the microphone allows you to motivate your characters. This is a list of what Timmy actually understands. So technically you could kill- Help him end his suffering. We do not care. Why are you bullying me? Motivating your character will slow the game down makes it more playable. Saying you can do it, or it's easy, saying these motivational commands will make the game slower it makes it really hard to die. Bruh. This is a sensor for when you open your hand. There is also a keypad, which is gonna undo TikTok on your brain. While you're playing, you have to hit these on your keypad. Now, keeping your focus on the last line isn't easy. Here, I'm focusing to hit A on my keypad, but that makes me not pay attention to the obstacle here, which kills me. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my god. Wait a minute, we're gonna peel this off when it's ready. So, keep looking. Now look at all these charts, which absolutely makes no sense and means nothing. And the price? It's less than a thousand dollars. All you need to know is that it's below a thousand dollars. Three reasons why you should get checkbox. Number one, it's environmental friendly. I can make this forever. Number two, it's cheap. It's premium quality. It's premium quality. Number three, it uses a processor from 10 years ago. As a gigantic YouTuber, I don't really get paid enough to edit this video forever. I have 297 subscribers and I lost five subscribers. Now let's turn this video into a tutorial. Get a toilet paper. It's every video at this point. Use all of it. Cut it in half. Get some yummy ice creams. Yum. Use glue. Get a bunch of cool looking modules. It doesn't have to do anything useful. You're just going for the vibe here. Wires are key. If you have any opportunity to make it more confusing, don't hesitate. The next move is a no brainer. We go with wheels. Look how that looks. Now here you're off to a good start. So I would just stop here and show it to my friend for motivation. He called it a bomb. He's wrong. Now don't forget our strategy. Our strategy is to keep adding wires and modules. And we don't care about their function. We just want to keep making it more confusing. More input, more wires, more buttons. Keep adding, don't give up. How is this not a bomb? This is a bomb. Come Dad, I've made something super cool. I need to show you. <laughs> it's not a bomb. So I just had this crazy idea. Uh, we had to make a sacrifice, unfortunately. It's on the other side, but I think it'll make it really good. You knew where this was. What? Now, doesn't that look perfect? Please don't try at home. But this is how I uh, hot glue things. Yeah.
you're also not gonna let anything go to waste here. Instead of just using a trash can, I can just glue it back to the thing. Yeah. Now there it is, we just uh, used that as a support for that, and we are complete. Now I'm just gonna... Now here I was looking for some stuff to make the inputs really hard and confusing. <laughs> there's, there's a creeper part here. Like for example, I could use a gyroscope. If you play games on your phone, this is how you play a racing car game. And now, the code. You know, when there's a lot of modules, there's a ton of programming. And if you're not programming in Python, this is gonna be really boring. And I did all the code myself, obviously. Now for the base game, I, it's really important because I did it, Then for a simple jumping game because I have a really reliable touch sensor. And the gameplay, it's super easy. It's too easy for me. It's just like, jeez. Bro. Bro, it's like the... Bro. Jesus, bro. Mm. Like, if you hold your finger even here, it will act like just... Bro. Now, if that wasn't hard enough, let's add key paths to the whole gameplay. So here you have to be super fast, you have to handle two things, you have to move, you have to handle the moving character and also handle the numbers. Now if you miss the numbers, the game will get faster and it's harder to play. This is like having a slow motion ability in a game. Jump. Now jump for example is a vocal command, this commands also control the speed of the game so if you miss some numbers you can say some stuff to compensate. Now here our product is complete, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a piece of trash. Now I know I'm breaking character here, but I wanted to like do a bit that I contact Microsoft, but I honestly think this video is too trash for that, so whatever. Now the only satisfying part of this video is probably this. Uh. If you're that one person who watched this video all the way, as a final message, I'm super sorry I wasted your time. I think I understand that I'm probably not even that funny and I make every video a little bit uncomfortable every time. Um, I will try to make things a lot less cringe after this video, um, so yeah, sorry.